What is going on, guys? Unite the Clans here, back in y'all life with another episode of this. This is Life in the Woods Renaissance, and this is the newest series on my channel. And we're doing it a little different. I've had a series like this in my mind for quite a little while, to be honest. And I'm not sure I felt confident enough to attempt a show like this until now. Wow, there's some weird stuff swimming in the ocean. What the hell are you? Wow, that's one of those little, uh, weird. Anyway, <laughs> I can't get too distracted by the game. That's what I was gonna say, guys. I think when you are a brand new YouTuber, all you can do is talk about the game and do a vague impression of your favorite YouTubers. It takes time to find your own voice, honestly, to start talking like you and not like your favorite YouTuber or somebody else. Um, and this is a series where, guys, we are traveling westward endlessly. And along the way, I'm going to talk ideally not that much about the game. I'm going to talk about life, lessons I've learned along the way, and share with you some of the struggles I occasionally have in life and hopefully provide a little motivation and inspiration. So be warned, this is not your usual Minecraft Let's Play or your usual Life in the Woods Let's Play. Um, we're gonna be doing this in the style of Far Lands or Bust. Now, I don't have a finish line. I don't have a goal I'm trying to reach. And in fact, we're not even worrying too much about distance. I can't go too much further westward. The land keeps going. So let's abandon this boat, hop on land and start walking. Whoa, I'm gonna break my boat. There you go. Um, yeah, I think early on, guys, I found myself most at home playing games where there was enough going on in the game that I could distract myself when I ran out of things to say. And um, I could just talk about the game. And in this one, especially with... Hi, buddy. I'm gonna get moving. Uh, especially with no... All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, especially with no building. Barely any crafting and just an endless walk in the same direction. Um, I should make sure we are going the right direction. Yes, we are. Cool. All there will be to talk about is something other than the game, and that's what inspired me. Um, Kurt J. Mack and Far Lands or Bust, which is one of the most well-known Minecraft series out there on YouTube, it basically has become a podcast. He rarely talks about the game. And let me get this crap off the screen, by the way. Um, he just talks. And I have wanted to do that for a while, guys. I feel like I've got a lot to say. And um, it's hard when you're playing a game. Like recently, I took on playing um, The Flame and the Flood. And I found the whole time I was recording that series, all I did was talk about the game. Hi. I wish I had some bones. Speaking of Kurt, I wish I could have a wolfie of my own. I don't have any bones. I'm sorry, buddy. You're going to be left here. It's weird to find you out here. Hi. Um, I'm also doing something a little different, guys. I'm using this series to help me with my own procrastination, and that will almost definitely be a topic we cover often in this series, and hopefully... We can do it for a while, and we can run this series for a while. I'm a master procrastinator, and no matter how many times I learn tips and tricks to help me get it past, to help get me past that, I'm just continually amazed at uh, how often I have to relearn those lessons, things that I thought I knew, th humps I thought I'd gotten over in my own life. I find myself continually kind of tripping back over those. Um... And so at the end of the last, the first episode in the series, I promised to take on a task that I had been putting off for a while, which was taking the next step and getting my taxes done. And, oh, don't do anything weird to me, you weird water glitch. Um, and I'll tell you guys, I finished recording that episode, and I didn't get lazy and just do nothing. I I did the, the, the best form of procrastination which was work on other stuff 
And uh, the day that I, I finished recording this episode, I ended up taking my computer entirely apart, opening it up, blowing all the dust out of it, putting it back together, and then rearranging my whole setup to another room in my house. I spent the whole day doing that because I didn't want to do the taxes. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why you procrastinate anything out there. Uh, you guys all have those to-do lists, and I'm sure there's things that have been on there for a very, very long time, if you're anything like me. Whoops. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, you do it out of... Screw you. You do it out of fear. Right? Fear of an unknown outcome. And that's almost always what it is. And usually we're making... We're... We're worrying about things far worse than will ever actually happen. You know, when I think about my taxes, I go, oh my god, what if I don't do it right? What if I get audited? What what if I don't claim enough? What, uh, I, you know, I have those questions bouncing around in my head, and that's the reason I don't do it. I, procrastination isn't just a trait. Fear is the trait, and procrastination is the side effect. And I did end up taking the next step, sending a couple emails, trying to track down the forms I need, guys. And at the end of this episode, I'll let you know another one. One that has been on my list for maybe longer than any other. And I promise you, I am going to take the steps I need to take to uh, to do that thing by the time you see this next episode. Uh, I'll get back to that, <laughs> guys. Oh, you know what? It's almost dark. Let me find a good place to bed down for the night. There's sharks all over the damn place. You know what? We'll bed down right up here. Um, and I will come back with you guys in the morning. All right, so we leave this bed here, and today we're going to have to track down a new bed for the next time we bed down for the night, and we definitely need a new boat. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll uh, use those, and a couple of these. And I'll make another two. Just in case, you never know when a boat's going to break on you. I don't want to be stranded out in shark-infested waters. I really haven't messed around with those sharks, but I don't want to see what happens when I do. So we'll do... Oh, god dang. All right. <laughs> there you go. I uh, I know I'm not a professional YouTuber. Uh, I keep making dumb mistakes over and over again, and this I keep pressing the same stupid buttons. That is a cool-looking biome. That's kind of neat. All right, well, we just keep setting setting off westward, uh, which looks like it may not be the longest of journeys. We'll see. Um, I have come to think of fear, procrastination, whether it's a thing on your to-do list um, or uh, sitting down to, let's say you're a writer and the, or some creative type. Let's say you're a musician, whatever it is. We have these blocks that keep us from doing the thing we really want to do, and uh, and they often come down to fear. Uh, fear, when it comes to a creative project for me like this with uh, this channel, fear that things won't turn out the way I want them to turn out. I'm going to peek in here, by the way, for some iron. It's something we need. Yes. Okay, good. We got a good supply. Whoops. I'm going to need that. So we'll throw a couple torches down here. We'll gather some iron. Oh, this is a rich mine. Okay, cool. What? Stop doing that, UTC. Uh, I've come to think of that fear as a dragon. And I got this concept from a great book called Do the Work. It's by an author called Stephen Pressfield. And his stuff is really all about this. If you're the creative type, it's a book you got to get. If you have some sort of creative pursuit or endeavor uh, that you're working on, you know the struggle of wanting to do your best work uh, and not wanting to miss an opportunity to, to put that time in to make yourself better at whatever it is you do. But continually we do. We make excuses. We keep ourselves from doing that stuff. And it's, uh, it's, a, a, it's a dragon that needs to be slain. Uh, you can listen to the voice that says, no, no, don't, don't start writing or don't go do your thing on your to-do list. Why don't you check your email first, right? But that voice comes from a place of fear, and that is the real key. That's the key to figuring out procrastination. Now, just knowing that isn't the key, guys, because I know that, and I still let that fear get the better of me uh, oftentimes. Uh, but knowing that it is that, I mean, that can help you. That can help you sort of uh, 
remind me. I think we're going this way. Not this way at all. We're going this way. All right, good. Glad I checked. Uh, we're going to be using that, guys. This is not a hardcore survival series. Uh, I'm going to use that cheaty F3 mode um, just to see exactly where I am and where I'm facing. I don't want to start wandering in a direction that isn't the direction we want to go. Oh, we are up in the mountains now. Say goodbye to the oceans. Uh, okay, let's spend some time on land, guys. This could be fun. Um, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, so I, I find myself making the same dumb mistakes and ma making reasons to do the things I don't want to do. And another brilliant little piece of advice I got uh, from that book, uh, Do the Work, uh, is that All is not lost because you have that voice, that voice that distracts you and tells you not to do the thing you want to do. In fact, that voice is a compass, and that fear is a compass. And true north is the thing you fear most. And for me, guys, I guess this is one of them because I've been putting it off for so long. I, uh, I went to university, and I completed all my courses, and did what was necessary to qualify for a degree. It's in history. But I did that years ago. I'm 32, guys, and I went to university right after high school, and I still don't have the piece of paper, the piece of paper that says, yes, you did it. You went to school. You did everything you need to do. You are a Bachelor of Arts honors degree holder in history. I don't have that piece of paper, and I can't tell you how many times I've started on the track of getting myself that piece of paper, and I have never followed through. Now, there have been times when money has gotten in the way, uh, but most of the time it's just fear of... And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you where the fear comes from, guys. Uh, you need a certain grade to earn that degree. I think it's 70, something like that. And I technically finished school with a half a percentage point below that, which would mean I'd have to go back to school and not wanting to do that after all those years put in I went and talked to the head of my uh, whoops I'll explain why that keeps happening get this crap off my screen okay I should probably kill some pigs um, I went and talked to the head of my department and asked for permission to graduate with whatever it is a 69.5 right which is a grade gra grades I never got in high school I was a 80s 90s student in high school uh, speaking of procrastination and letting your fear get in the way, man, I, I always did that with school. Uh, but that thing, that thing that I'm going to do today, knock off my to-do list, uh, you know, that's as much of what this series is for, is motivating me. But hopefully I motivate you guys along the way too and you pick up a little inspiration. Um, okay, piggy. All right, guys, we're geared up. I think I, think I feel good about the amount of meat we've now got. Um... Uh, so I went and I, I got that permission, and I was told, yes, you can graduate. I give you permission. You've taken my courses. I know you're a good student. I don't want to make you come back for a whole other year just to take one course. And so I did. I got that permission. I applied for the degree, and then I think I needed to send in $30 to get it, to get it shipped to me, and I never did. And then a few years later, I tried, and I had that that trip up of knowing that Technically, in their system, I don't have the grades to graduate, right? Um, and I think I over... Oh, are you food? Yes, you're food. Okay, I gotta clear out some inventory space for this stuff. Uh, let's get rid of this crap wooden tools. Uh, what are you? I don't want you. I'm gonna get this. Alright, cool. We got some new foods and food sources. Nice. Um... Oh, yes, there's lots of these little potato pineapple looking things, and I'll take them. Oh, I need to make more room even. Get this sword fern out of there. Cool. Well, we'll munch on that stuff tonight as it gets dark. Um, yeah, I let that get in the way, and I can't count how many times, guys. I'm now 32 years old, went to university at 19, graduated or <sighs> technically finished school, if you don't want to call it graduation because I don't have the piece of paper, uh, at 24. So what's that? Eight years that this thing has been on and off of to-do lists. There are crashes that happen in this game from time to time, guys, so I'm not quite sure where we left off. I know we collected these pineapples, and I know I was saying something. Uh, 
yeah, there I was. <laughs> oh, I'm still going to get distracted. Okay, so yes, I was 24 when I graduated. I am now 32. So it's been eight years of having this one item on and off of to-do lists. And to be honest, it has been off of them more than on them because I've been so intimidated by it that I don't think of it as a thing that I need to get done. Often I don't think of it as a thing that I can get done. And um, we're going to do it. Uh, and hopefully, guys, that shows you... Get this off my screen. Shows you just how serious I am about this series. About inspiring you guys, about making myself a better person, and where'd that boat go? And along the way, hopefully making you guys better people as well. Um, So hopefully, guys, that shows you just how serious I am. Uh, I'm going to take a thing that's been on my to-do list for eight years, and by the time you see this next episode, I will have done it. I hope. Um, I will trip up and fail with these little goals I'm setting for myself, as I have in the past, and as you guys will with your lists. But um, I'm going to try wholeheartedly, earnestly, and honestly, because, guys, I don't want to have that on my list for another eight years. I have to take these, I think. They're fairly valuable. Um, yeah, I do want to change. I Hi, guys. I wish I had some bones. I guess you couldn't follow me across all this ocean, could you? How does Kurt do it? I guess there weren't that many oceans back in Minecraft version, whatever the hell he's playing in. I don't know what it is. It's a very old version. Um, yeah, I I don't want it. I, it's been on there so long, and I've made so many excuses for not doing it that I am going to do my best to overcome the fear involved. I think it starts with a simple phone call off to my university. Check the status of things, and this is a cool little cove and um, it's getting dark fast. I don't want to spend my night in this little cove. And I haven't found any sheep. And I don't have a bed to sleep in. So we might be digging in. Digging into a hole for the night. Uh, Alright guys, night is upon us. And I don't have a place to stay. Crashing has been a persistent issue so far. And I don't want us to get caught out here without a bed. Having not found a safe place to stay for the night. So... We're going to do the absolute n basic, the newbiest thing we can do and pin ourselves in here for the night. And I may not have a gorgeous vista to talk to you from at the moment, guys. So why don't we make this a longer episode? I will survive the night down here. In the morning, we'll set off and I'll finish talking about what I was just talking about. All right, guys, this is starting to look like morning to me. Not quite there, but um, I think we're just going to set out. And one of the tried and true ways of getting yourself over a hump, over a thing that you truly fear and do not want to take on, Guys, I have turned off shaders for a minute here. Uh, I'm really having issues with crashes. Usually it's a local area that for some reason causes the game to struggle. So I've turned it off and I've also obviously, as you can tell, turned our view distance down to nothing. I really just wanted to finish saying what I was saying, guys. One of the tried and true methods for getting yourself over a hump like that is... Let's go. Oh yeah, stupid son of a bitch uh one of those tried and true methods is a commitment make a promise to yourself and i am doing that in the form of this series i'm promising you guys that i will do the thing on my to-do list you probably don't care if i go and get my university degree i already have the degree for all intents and purposes i just don't have the piece of paper and um 
So I'm making that commitment. And that's the the commitments like that are the very same reason that at 4, no, 5 a.m. after working all night long in a busy bar on a Saturday night, instead of going to bed, I'm doing this. I'm recording this video because I don't have one ready to go for tomorrow, today, technically. And I made a pact to myself at the beginning of the year to try and do a video a day. You know what, why don't we just stay here for the moment to try and do a video a day. And that is why you see me now at 5 in the morning recording this because I really want to get 365 videos done this year, guys. So if you're struggling with something, uh, something on a to-do list, something that's been nagging you and bugging you for years that you've never managed to get done, all you have to do is make a promise. Now we'll see. I'm making one to myself and to you guys that the next time you hear from me, I will have done what it takes to get that piece of paper in the mail and on its way to me. And guys, that's what this series is all about. It's a westward walk and hopefully I inspire and motivate you guys and myself a little and maybe you guys will inspire and motivate me along the way. I know this is a different way of doing Minecraft, a walkathon for all intents and purposes in a very cool, beautiful version of Minecraft. I wish we had the shaders on right now. Uh, and just talking. And I hope that we're gonna be able to do this uh, for a while. I hope we're gonna be able to keep this going and that this will pick up some momentum. If you have friends, if you have people you think might like to hear this kind of thing, might like to hear a little inspirational talk from somebody like me, pass it on. And if you guys liked it, we're at the end of the video. So I'm gonna ask, hit that like button if you've watched this far you like what I do, and you like listening to me talk, so let me know. Guys, I'm Unite the Clans. This is life in the woods, renaissance, temporarily without shaders and with a very tiny view distance, but it's life in the woods, renaissance. Thank you for checking out episode two, and I will see you in the next episode.